Hey, how you doing? This is Loretta coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Well, I've got a couple things for you today. What we're going to do today, we're going to have a little fun with the guns, a little quick draw, a little quick draw. Uh, I'll show you how I, how I like to quick draw. I used to, I used to like to compete in quick draw. But anyway, um, I just want to show you my guns. I didn't have any knives, new knives for you to show you today, so I just thought I'd show you something different that I like also. I also like guns. And I, I like to um, do, I haven't done it in a long time, though. I haven't done it in a while because I've been working so much in a few years. But I like to compete in shooting in a quick draw. And it, it, it's just something I used to like to do a lot. But anyway, show you my guns. I got, all my guns are Rugers. And I got Rugers for I know, pretty much every kind of category. Let me see. First one I'll show you. These are all empty. This is my short barrel Ruger. This is a shorter barrel that you're allowed to use in, in quick draw. I'm just showing you this empty. All my guns have been modified by me. I modify all my own guns. I put different, different uh, hammer springs and different things like that in to make so I could I could shoot them faster. And you know, because in quick draw it's all about speed. So you know, you want you want to set up your gun so it shoots super fast. And in quick draw we don't use real bullets; we use wax bullets. So you have to clean your guns constantly because the wax will clog them up. These are real guns though. You, you can fire 45 caliber wax bullets through these. That's what we use. We use real guns. You don't use in, uh, fake guns or, or I don't know, whatever you, other kind of guns that there might be that might be fake or whatever. They shoot blanks or whatever. These are actual real guns. This is a real Colt. I mean, this, this shoots real Colt 45s. And this is a Ruger. Ruger Vaquero. This is a modern day Vaquero. It's a smaller, lighter weight version of the Vaquero. So that's the first one I started shooting though. The first one I started shooting is the old version. But anyway, let's show you the old version. The old version I have has a five and a half inch barrel. It's a little bit longer. That's why I first started shooting with my start competing. This was my first six shooter. And this is the old version um, Ruger. I bought it when it was brand new. All my guns I bought when they were brand new. But I, all my guns are like this. You see them like this, this, they have this high shine to them is because I polish them. Like I do my knives. I polish my guns too. <laughs> but all the parts in it, been, they've been all polished and modified. and So it's like super fast. It's an awesome gun. This is the heavier one. This one, this one you can put heavier um, 45, 45 Colt loads in. You can shoot the heavier rounds because it has a thicker has thicker chambers. Everything's more heavy duty on these. These guns weigh more than the newer version. And this is the old, old, old model um, Ruger Vaquero. Now, I actually like this one. It's one of my favorites. Not only because it's, it's the one I've, I've started out with, so it's the one I first learned how to shoot quick draw with. But because I just like the extra weight of it. I don't know what it is. The extra weight of it puts you on target a little bit better sometimes. Anyway, that's that. And these are all quick draw rigs. You have to use a quick draw rig that meets all the safety standards for quick draw. This is the only blued one I have. This is a seven and a half inch barrel. New model Vaquero. I put all of them got custom grips and stuff, so these aren't the regular kind of grips that they come with. Like all my other guns, this one's been modified. This one's got snaps caps in it already. Snap caps are good for like when you practice. So you don't mess up the firing pin. Anyway, that's that one.
getting a little bit dark in here. I'm turn. All right, well, let's do some, uh, some quick draw. Let me see, let's start off with the smallest one first. Yes, when I was a little boy, I used to always wanted to be a gunslinger. <laughs> I got my first six gun when I was just a kid, about seven years old. It was a 22 caliber six shooter. Spent my summers growing up on the ranch with my grandpa. My grandpa lived on the ranch. Helped him out with the cattle and all that kind of stuff. So I was sort of like a cowboy, yeah. I did, I was into a lot of cowboy shit. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. I don't know if you can see me real good. Let me see. Okay. A quick draw, you just wanna pull the gun up. And as you're pulling it up, you're pulling back the trigger and you shoot from the hip. All this stuff like you see in the movies, where they point the gun out like this, that should take too long. I can kill somebody by the time you point your gun out here. See? Watch. That's a lot faster than going. See what I'm saying? And you practice this thousands of times shooting wax rounds at targets at time speeds until you get to the point where you pretty much hit the target almost all the time. Because you're not aiming, you're just shooting from the hip. That's, that's what quick draw is. Okay, that's a, that's a short barrel one. I forget who made all these rigs. These are all custom rigs. I think the one, this one has a Shanico um, holster. And I forget who made this belt. I forget who. It's been a long time. I've had this stuff for a long, long time. I've been in the cowboy shooting for ever. But anyway, let you see my rig. All right. And even my rig I modified with the the the. the uh, the conchos and things that you see on the rigs and stuff like that. And I dyed everything all black. You know me, I modify everything. <laughs> Can't leave anything alone. Okay. Here's the next one. This is, this is the old school one five and a half inch barrel. I think I gained a little weight because the belts aren't fitting me right. <laughs> Need a little bit bigger belt. That's bad. I just need to lose some weight. That's all that means. Okay. Why well, tell you, Pilgrim? You mess with me, you won't live. Yeah, uh huh? This is the heavy one. I love this one. This is the first one I had. This is the first rig I had, too. It's kind of messed up inside because I've actually fired off rounds inside this thing before. <laughs> That's the reason why they have all this safety stuff like this. Uh, this thing right here, it keeps, a, it keeps a, the bullet from going into your foot or your leg or whatever. It's like a safe, it'll deflect the bullet off to your side or whatever. But anyway, here we go. Slinger. I'm a gunslinger. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go for the big boy. We're gonna go for the big boy now. The longer the barrel, the harder it is to draw it. That's the way it sort of works with gun, with handguns. The shorter the barrel, the faster you can draw. 
So if you want to have a real fast draw, super fast draw, that's all you're worried about, get a short gun. But my advice would be to start off with a long, heavy gun, because by the time you start shooting with that short gun, you'll be really fast. The, big, the bigger guns make you shoot faster. These don't have ties. These aren't allowed to have ties, long guns. And so the, the holster has to be super stiff and hard. They make them out like horse hide, I think it is. And uh, it's, it's not flexible, but it doesn't have steel in it. You're not allowed to have steel in it. And it just has to be like a real strong um, hide. And I think they use like horse, I want to say horse hide to make it that, that gets really stiff. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier because you got to pull it up higher. Oh, I just shot myself. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Yeah, my, 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 shelf, my thing's a little bit off here. Like I said, you know, I'm not wearing my rig right. Okay. This one you gotta bend down because you gotta give yourself room. Yeah, that's, that's kind of slow. Yeah, I'm a little bit rusty on that one. I must admit, I'm a little bit rusty on that one. Let's see, let, let's see what it looks like. Boom. Boom. Here we go. Well, I tell you, Pilgrim, you mess with me, you mess with the best. Yeah, uh huh. I like the long gun though, because I, I like it because it's more nostalgic. Because actually in the wild, wild west, long guns are, the longer guns are pretty common because they, they can use them for everything. Hunting and, and self-defense. It was more of a multi-purpose gun than just, a, a, than just for, you know, fighting against people for self-defense. These were, these types of guns were pretty common, especially in California. A lot, of the, a lot of the gold rush people had long guns. If you look in the old photos and stuff like that and pictures of, and drawings of the, of the old miners and people like that, they had, a lot of them had these long gun setups. So it was a fairly common type of gun. So it's kind of cool to, to mess around with them. But, the shorties are the most fun. They're the fastest. The shorties are the most fun. I forget how long this barrel is. Let me see. I think it's like four and three quarters, something like that. Huh. I thought it said, I can't, I can't read. I need better glasses. But I think it's a four and three quarter barrel or something like that. Okay, here we go. Let's strap down. The reason why you strap down because it just holds it nice and tight to your leg, the holster, so the holster doesn't come up when you, when you draw. And a quick draw holster, you don't want a holster that really grabs the gun. The way that you hold the gun in is that you use the trigger, the trigger um, thing right here. It holds it, that'll hold the gun in. But other than that, the gun will fall out the holster. Because you don't want nothing binding up your gun when you're drawing. This is the fun one. That's the fun one. But anyway, those are my toys. Those are my toys, my peoples. 
Those are my toys. Well, that was the first video for tonight. We got another one coming up. We got another one coming up. We got an announcement to make. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace out.